Hello and welcome to Martian Gothic. No, this is actually Kerbal Space Program, I could do not. We are on Mars today, I mean Duna, and I want to show you where we are on the map. We are <coughs> right on the South Pole, and I want to show you on fast forward mode what happens. You see that? We pretty much get light most of the day because of where we are. I mean, admittedly, it could be a little bit more perfect, but hey. <coughs> I'll show you what, uh, what he sees from the window. How's that? Isn't that pretty cool? And this is what will grow all the plants, and you can see that. Uh, if I show you from the top down, you'll see that all of them will get lit up as opposed to only some of them. I think that means that you get an equal distribution of light on all of your plants all around, apart from the uh, area where you're not going to get the most amount of sun. So you notice that I don't get much sun in this, this direction. I get plenty of sun in this direction. And this is how I keep my uh, plants growing healthy so that hopefully one day we can start working about terraforming Mars so that we don't even need to have the biodome but that will take a lot of work because even though we have the biodome and we have enough veg food and vegetation for one man to live there and for him to have enough oxygen as well uh, as you see, Juno is a very very big place and to terraform it all would take many lifetimes I mean, you know, even just to do an area maybe this big, and just, I don't know, say, I don't know, we've got a little castle and some, I don't know, just maybe a cluster of more biodomes, I reckon. But, uh, you know, the fact that we've got this far, that we've got, we've got one partially finished biodome that, yeah, you can EVA around, and uh, I'll show you that if you want. Uh, there's, there's just too much stuff in this, I mean, where is it? Uh, yeah, you've got stone down first, then he comes to life. I mean, I'll show you about as close as I can get you. Whoa, 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 whoa. No further than that, I reckon, because that is a long drop plunge. I mean, it'd be nice to go and play around in the dirt, but I've decided that it's safer and better if the Kerbals just stay in the compound. Um, I mean, why do you need to go and touch Martian soil? I mean, the thrust has touched it. Uh, you know, there's nothing out there. You can't breathe out there. And you really need an airlock, and another airlock, and another airlock, just to be extra safe. Just in case there's a fire or any uh, hazards. Um, yeah, I just I just really thought, think about, you know, if you're going to have to really think about going to Mars, you have to really think about living on Mars, don't you? It's not something you can just do like you did with Apollo, you know, just pack enough food for X many days. It's going to be, it's going to be tricky, and I reckon you're going to need something possibly as advanced as this. Thanks very much.